God. It's such a powerful ministry. And I just believe that there's a word from the Lord from his lips for these young people this evening. So, Elder Haynes, will you just minister to these young people a little bit and pray for them? Amen. Amen. I will do that. I want to talk to every young man out there, every young woman, child, boy, girl, whoever you are. Listen to me. It's time to really get your life right with the Lord. Many times, many, many times we try to get our life right first and then come to God. But what we have to do is come to God first and he will help you in any area you have, whatever the struggle is. If it's weed, if it's drinking alcohol, if it's fornication, whatever it is. We have to understand that we have to address these real problems. And God is able to heal you, deliver you, and set you free. But the first step is that you have to do is admit that you do that, that you do need Jesus. Yeah. And today is your day for salvation. Today is your day to get your right relationship back with God. And I want to pray with every with you here at your homes, wherever you are. And I want to pray with you. God, right now in the name of Jesus, I ask that you bless my brother, that you bless my sister, even where they are right now. That God, that you touch their life, God. Let them know that they cannot make it without you, God. That they need your presence, God. Amen. God, arrest them even now, yes, God. God. Arrest them in their sins yes, even now, God. God. Even in the in, in the in the in the fornication, God, with the alcohol, with the weed, whatever it is, arrest them right now yes, in the name God. of Jesus. And God, I ask that your presence takes over them, God. That your joy takes over them, God. That your peace that passes all understanding, God, will take over their life, God. God, we thank you, God, that they're going to be saved, set free, and delivered. Yes. And devil, I speak to you right now. And I cancel every assignment that you have tried to do to these young people, to you try to do to that young man, that young woman. Yes. I cancel the assignment the right now. In the name, I plead the blood over their life blood. right now in the name of Jesus. God, right now, the blood of Jesus. Yes. Save them, set them free, and make them whole. Yes. I've kind of done. It is so. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Lord has blessed us mightily with these awesome people of God that have been deposited into the earth for such a time as this to minister to different facets of people from different walks of life. We just thank God for them. this evening. De minister Elder Deborah White just blessed us. And this evening, will you just minister to some young women, uh, some women out there in TV land who may be going through, who may be displaced. But will you minister to them and we're going to pray that the Lord bring them into the kingdom. Yes, Pastor. I know that I know that I know that the Lord has shared with me that there are millions, I said millions of hurting women of all ages, of all facets of life. Amen. Money answers all things. Yes. But one thing that money can't do, money can't endure happiness. Amen. We need to, as women of God, know where our source lies. Our source lies in God. Yes, I feel in my spirit that there are some of you, you're living in the past. You're, every day you're reminiscing in the past. And you can't even get ahead in the future because your past is holding you back. You have a problem forgiving, amen, that man that might have deserted you, amen, and your children and uh, caused havoc to your home. Amen. But you need to ask God to come in and, amen, heal because the Bible said that there is a bomb in Gilead. Amen. God has a healing, amen, uh, 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 medicine for you. And all, all it takes is a shot of Jesus. Amen. But all you got to do is repent and say, Lord, forgive me for holding unforgiveness in my heart. And I'm going to tell you something, amen, that I heard in the churches about, amen, for a few years back. Amen. That God is, and that's a song also, yeah. Pastor, that says he's the God of a second chance. Yes. Yes. Amen. Somebody I heard in the spirit, you said, I've had a second chance. Well, honey, let me tell you something. He's God of a third chance. Yes. He's God of a fourth and a fifth. Yes. Amen. God is coming to repair the breach. Amen. God, there is happiness again. God will cause you to love again. You can find joy again. There are some women out there, I feel, that you have wayward children, that son that is away from home, and you felt that you've done all you could without that dad being present in the home. Amen. But I heard, even as the pastor, Pastor, as he prayed, God can arrest that spirit yes. in that young man. God can arrest him and then arrest that mind. You wear it, you walk the floor, you talked and you bawled and you, amen, you, you've you cried, but God said he is the answer today. Yes. You have to be patient and wait on the Lord. Also, I feel there are some women, I feel you in my spirit, you're battling against that spirit of homosexuality. 
reality. You're battling against that spirit of one other women. I come to tell you that there is an answer in God. You don't have to battle. I feel that even you, there's one I feel you, you don't want that spirit, but it's about to overtake you, amen, because of the surroundings that you're in. But in the name of Jesus, I call that spirit, amen, undone right now. I bind it in the name of Almighty God. I curse you right now. In Jesus' name, I command you from her mind. I command you from her spirit. I command you from her flesh. In the name of Jesus, yes, I feel there are some of you that are going through because you, yes, relationship with your parents and all that. God can help you erase the past. Amen. And look forward to the future. Amen. We need the hospitals are full today. Not just from sicknesses that man don't have a cure for. That most of us can't even help except God heal us. But many of our hospitals are full because of, there's a spirit pastors of unforgiveness yes. in the land. For unforgiveness can have, honey, cause your body to wreak havoc. Yes. Amen. Yes. But God can give us the power to forgive. Thank you all the wife for praying for those young people, those young women, those hurting women. We believe that God is doing a work in them now.